is about aliens. UFOs flying through the air are real. All winemakers are bloody insane. That's the intro right there. You're the intro. We're cancelled. <laughs> Thank you! So right now we're actually at the Whispering Wall. Hey gang! It's so cool. There's a guy on the other side. Literally, I can hear him. I can hear him on, like really audibly. He's all the way over there. I'm, and you can stand here and you can talk to him. Hey! Oh my! Whoa! Hey man! You're telling me you can whisper at the Whispering Wall? Oh yeah. Didn't Look at that, did you? Look at Engineering feat of South Australia. You can whisper. Back. Whisper. Did you hear? Yeah. Whistle again. Look at fitness of Joseph, he's always, crazy. he's always running. <laughs> he's always on the toes. No. <laughs> I can actually not believe it. I can actually. How do you get girls? How do I get girls without yes. whistling? Well, I just don't cat call them, you do know, you I actually talk to them. Without whistling? whistling. What, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> do you raise an eyebrow? But like yeah, I can do it. Oh, no, I don't do it. No, I do it's sort of a wink. I'm like, hold on. Oh, it's the wink. Guys. We got Emma Baroness. Okay. Fun fact about you, Emma. Any yeah. fun facts? I'm on board. We got Will Twist here. What's the fun fact about you? I'm into politics. It's not very fun. I want, I want to have a lot more freedom. I want freedom. freedom. Freedom to be who you want to be. Look at this. We're in freedom. Nature. We got more peeps here. You want to be part of the movie? Oh, I love it. There's a duck. There's a bunch of ducks. It looks like we're in Switzerland. We're in Switzerland. We're actually, mate, we're in South Australia. South Australia, mate. And here we have a depiction of the globe, covered in barbed wire and controlled by the masses. Controlled by the few. Masses controlled by the few. What am I saying? I don't know. Conspiracy theories. This is the globe, and this is a beautiful nature. And here we have a bird. It's on the walking trail. This is the whispering of the birds. The birds. And it's filming. And then you can zoom in and out if you want, and you go, hello. Um, I like it, yeah. It's quite a bit of cork, a bit of shots there. I don't mind it. I let one rip. Uh, no, you didn't. Ooh, friend! 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 Full kit wag! What are you doing, sir? We're gonna go to a wine. Oh, okay. And do like a pacing experience and just document the whole thing. Oh, wine. Wine. I am? Yeah. Sweet. Video. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I was waiting for the shot. It's pretty sick, boys. Yeah. This yeah. is Adelaide. When you see wine someone you know from school, when you're out, you know. Yeah. Even the Barossa. Even the Barossa. I don't know. 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 My camera's not this big, so I don't have this much clout, so I wouldn't know. Mate. Alright, let's do the whisper. <laughs> Show me the turtles. The turtles are just there. Well, welcome back to the Adelaide set. We're back live. How are you going, guys? We're not live. So lonely. No, we're, not we're so lonely. Oh, just childhood all over again. No, you use the other hand. It's like he's gonna have a bed, like he's drinking like, <laughs> like that. I'll say, I'll say this is one of um, Adelaide's most important concrete structures. This remains. So good. One thing about this place, Whispering Wall, it's concrete feet. You can do all this stuff where you go blah blah blah, and they go blah blah blah, and you can hear each other without even being loud. And this is also one of the most important structures in South Australia because it provides heaps and heaps of water to people. So. I like that. I think it's very important still in South Australia. <laughs> Whispering word on another language. You can't Chinese say it, it's literally Chinese. We got Joseph on the run. Joseph the fit man. Can you do it? Yes, you can. You better without him. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to me back. I don't know where I came from, but here I am. Welcome to the Adelaide set. We do a bit of fitness too. On the side, on the side. On the side, on the side. Oh no, not on the side, no. <laughs> Are you drinking water? I'm imitating drinking water, just like the man here. Get some water, mate. I'm a bit thirsty, actually. Do you have any water? Yeah, of course you're thirsty, mate. Oh, mate, always thirsty. I knew you were thirsty. Always thirsty, mate. When you're a little bit white like me, you gotta make sure your sunscreen's good for these sunny days, you know? Hello.
How are you find the food, Emma? It's incredible. I love it. And what about you? I'm enjoying the steak. Yeah? I think it's quite tasty. There's a lot of flavours there. It's quite aesthetic. Although maybe that's just you. Ooh. Yeah, very nice. Do you um, like that water? I love the ugly water. Oh, they are known for the quality of our There's water. no better water in any other country. In our wine. Yes. Than Adelaide's water. Water and wine. Jesus Some may say that <laughs> South Australia is blessed by Jesus. Yes, that is why. How do you think, Will? I'm you ready for this? <laughs> what do you think, Will? Will, I think I need another steak. Sorry, <laughs> 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 up, guys. Come on, we have to get to the next place. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you lit, fam? Lit as a no, light. <laughs> Hey, take a photo of me, Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at his credit card details. I'm a wine tour today, but I am fitness with Joseph, so I thought I'd have to get a bit of fitness in while I'm here. So this has been unorthodox, but look at this. We've got a, some monkey bar thing going on here. Watch this. Oh, bit of a hang here. Oh, that's technique. Oh, this is super PB day? Going on me. Because it's um, extremely rusty. All right, it's it. Whoa. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm a bit rusty as well. <laughs> yeah, but it's just. I don't want to fall down. It's been. Yeah, so, yeah it's all falling down, so it's actually coming down very shortly, so I'd be very careful. Okay. I've already banged it. I've done my turn already. Yes, you shut it off. You flex. It's fine. Yeah. I've already banged it. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I've already done my <laughs> step, mate. Oh. How did he get there so with fast? Joseph. Brought to you. Bye. Fitness with fitness Joseph with got Joseph. cancelled. We're cancelled. Cool. Oh, was that Get fitness going. with Joseph? Um, I was going to sit on Will's lap, but we actually have to go now, so I guess like that kind of disrupts my important plan. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks for Hi. Excited? I'm very excited. I don't know what to expect, but we're good. Bye bye. See ya. Bye bye. Hey. Okay. G'day. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. So who are you and what, what are we doing here? So I'm Sam Mitchell, I'm the Celador Manager for Redheads Wine. So I'm going to take the setters behind the scenes, have an exclusive tour in our winery, and then crack some bottles and taste some wine. Legend, thank you. Let's do it, gang. Woo! Woo! Excited. Whereas anything built in the 19th century, it's a little bit higher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> so when was it built? <laughs> Will? 1888. 1888? Yeah, fixed my label. Yeah, so there's a, a natural lime render that we have on the walls. The flooring um, was hidden under hideous carpet, which is now a lot better. All exposed beams hang Step one, grab your glass. Do you need a glass? Yeah. Of course he needs a glass. Look at him, he's keen. Uh, <laughs> a bean. Let's talk about sustainability and trying to get some balance in the, in the vineyard by growing you know, wheat down into rows. So, um, yeah, it's a big part of the whole site's sustainability. Um, when we go for a walk over there, you'll see on the roof, we've got 50 kilowatts of solar. So we're the first and the largest um, off-grid winery in South Australia, and I think Australia, so. So yeah, this is Barossa Valley Camp, vineyard about four kilometers that way. Especially white, I'm a bit nervous with white. It's kind of, that's when I do get clumsy and spill. That's why we're black. So when was this one sold out? So this sold out in the UK in two hours. There was such high demand for it. So um, the setters are one of the first people in Australia to try this wine. Half the half the people that work here haven't tried this wine. It's a very, very exclusive sneak peek. Very, this is, very this different is, taste. Yeah. It's got some chutzpah to it. We're very fortunate to be tasted this wine today. Let's make the most of it. That's my favourite one. I, re I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just saying that because it's like super rare. It tastes good too. The really cool thing about having a cellar door is there's some grape varietals that we use in blending that um, particularly this year just looks so good. We couldn't put them in a blend. We could, we, we just had to keep them to ourselves. So we've created some cellar exclusives which will just be available here. And it's the best quality fruit that we have in a really, really small production. My making is a, is a balance of three things. Science, madness and art. There's lots of science, chemistry and biology that goes into winemaking. Uh, all winemakers are bloody insane. And then there's a lot of intuition that goes into it. So it's a perfect blend of science, madness 
us about it. That's the intro right there. You're the intro. Oh, well, come on, we can have two intros, come on. <laughs> Some group training. Yeah. Uh, we like to mix it up actually at Next Generation, yeah. <laughs> can, I, can, 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 can I interest you in our discount membership rates? Right? Oh, house. You enjoy enjoy your beard in Hamlet? Yeah. It's pretty good, pretty bitter. Sydney, like, Maybe my first craft beer. Tell me. I'm not quite sure, but what I am clear about is yeah. I'm ready for another. Have you even been to Melbourne? <laughs> <laughs> I'm clear about that. Nah, man. Adelaide all the way. We're the Adelaide Stacks. Yeah. You can get yeah. Definitely yeah. Sweetie Carol. Sweetie Carol. Sweetie Carol. This is something that we like usually January. blend, uh, but this just looked too good, so we couldn't blend it away. Uh, so this is a straight Barbera, and a couple of weeks ago we entered this into an international Barbera competition. So Barbera from Italy, from Australia, and around the world. There was 44 Barberas entered. We entered a tank sample, so not a finished wine, something straight out of the tank, and it came forth out of 44. 2019, so it's super fruity. Love it, thank you. Um, so the assumption that a lot of people have is that white grapes make white wine and red grapes make red wine, which is kind of half true, but the real difference is skin contact. So when we get a white wine, what we do is we bring the fruit in, we press it, and the juice goes over here and ferments and creates a lovely wine, and the skins chuck that because we don't need that anymore. Red wine, we get the fruit in, we press it, juice goes over here, skins go over here, and then we'll pump the juice over the skins to extract all the colour, the texture, and the tannin. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for having us. My pleasure. You've honestly been, she's such, like she knows what she's talking about. That's the cool thing. Like I've learned so much about the difference between white and red, how wines actually oxidize and how the molecules break down. Like you, you're learning cool stuff and it's also a cool experience to actually do it, check out where it's done. So I rate it and it's all sustainable. Anything you'd like to, to say to the setters or let them know about? For sure, so we are located in the Barossa in between Neuripta and Angerson. We've got a completely sustainable solar powered cellar door and all our wines are vegan friendly. So if you want wine, which is changing the game and breaking down the stereotypes of the Barossa, we're here to celebrate sustainable winemaking and bloody good wine. And in the end, that's exactly what it's about. So come visit us in the Barossa and see exactly what we're doing and have a glass. Cheers. Thank you. Sunset. We are at the Barossa Sculpture Park where you can see the Barossa in 180 degrees. And this one was made by South Australia. As you can tell, it's about aliens. Because it's a UFO. The US Navy has finally acknowledged that videos appearing to show UFOs flying through the air are real. Look at another one as well. That one is made from New South Wales. It's called Dreaming. And it's like an eagle or like a bird. And it's very nice because who doesn't like dreaming, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, facts. I love dreaming. I love dreaming, you know? Dream of what you wish for, dream of the world exactly. you want. Exactly. You can dream in your dreams, in your subconscious mind, or a conscious you want mind. To do this one? Yeah, that one. For the good old dreaming bird. Um, um, um. So that one looks like an ancient Greek. George. It's your sculpture. Let's go find it out. Here we have Atlas, the Greek mythological god that carried the weight of the world on his shoulders. That's what it is to us right now. Hey guys, so we're just here at a lookout that has an awesome sunset and also a sculpture garden. So yeah, let's see what they think. Good spot, you rate it? Rate it like people are dancing, being romantic. Beautiful. Guys, if you want to take the girl for a first date, day or night, that's this, is, this yeah. is the spot. They were yeah. Great place. What do you think, Emma? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> and William, last but not least, <laughs> what do you think? It's a good way to end your wine tour. <laughs> Looks over all the wine vineyards up here in kind of the Tanunda. It's a great view. Yeah, 180 degrees. And then we have this beautiful couple having their little dance. <laughs> Don't you love it? That's all, folks.